Oh. Can't do it, dude. Nah, let's do it, bro. Oh, let's all run. Let's all run them. Hey, what's going on? It's Mike. I'm back again with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the 2023 Shelby Super Snake, and we're going to talk about the 2022 Ram TRX, which I have sitting over here. I got the Shelby Super Snake sitting over here. Both of them are mine. We're going to do a comparison video. We're also going to be doing a ride along. I got my man sitting behind the camera, Reyes. We're going to first talk about the Shelby. This is the brand new 2023 Shelby Super Snake. The color is called Area 51 Blue. That's the name of the color. It comes with 20 inch rims. The one thing I don't like about the brakes though, the brakes are only a four piston with just a Shelby cap on them. I don't like that, but I do wanna upgrade the brakes to a six piston brake. Uh, probably gonna do that in the near future. Tinted the windows 5% front and back and on the rear. Uh, the only thing that sucks is at night, I can't see a damn thing out the side windows at all. On the lock, as long as you put your hand right here, it unlocks the windows. As long as you got the key fob with you, it'll unlock the window. You can lock it just by pressing the button. It tells you right here off the side that no one's gonna race you because it's gonna tell you you got 775 horse. And so nobody's gonna wanna mess with you unless they're electric because torque pound is gonna beat horsepower pretty much almost any time. So sit in the back, it, uh, instead of saying F-150, it's gonna tell you it's, it's a Shelby, which is uh, pretty sweet and awesome. As we roll to the back, the one thing I like about this, it's got the tunnel cover in the back, and it comes lined with all the carpet and lining. It's got the Shelby on the inside. I did opt for the digital license plate, so it's not a real plate, it is digital. So it is Bluetooth. So I did go with the custom plate, it is on order. I do have the Super Snake plate coming, which is, I was able to get it. So once that comes, I just go on my little app, I can put in Super Snake, hit the little Bluetooth button, and it'll talk to each other, and it'll just change, which is pretty sweet. So it is the F-150 Shelby. It's got the Ford emblem. It's got a camera here, a light here, and there should be another camera somewhere. There's a bunch of cameras everywhere. Lots of cameras, and it's got power for towing. Tow is pretty good and uh, all kinds of stuff. It's got the Borlock exhaust, which is pretty quiet compared to the TRX. We'll hear about that here shortly. We run strictly 91 in here because in California, that's all we got. Uh, it does have the full on panoramic sunroof. We'll show the interior here in a second. It does have the Super Snake Shelby emblem here where it would be Ford F-150. It does say the Shelby Super Snake in the front. And of course, the front end, which is absolutely, in my opinion, the best part of it. I do want to get some carbon fiber parts, but yet it's hard to find. It does say Shelby in the front where it normally would have the, the Ford logo here in the front, but it does say Shelby, which is uh, pretty awesome. A lot of plastic parts in the front. Now, some of the negatives I don't like about this where I do like in the TRX. The TRX and the uh, Snake, they both have the nice, intake scoop here but when i open this up i'm going to show you the intake is off to the side so when you look at the intake there's one little tiny hole off to the side over here where does it go where it goes into here so there's, there's a little hole right here if you look at the little tiny hole that's what's feeding this big intake to this whole thing so when you buy the truck, there's two states that you have to buy the truck first, then send it to Shelby. It's California, Pennsylvania, all the other states, this already comes. So Shelby will then put the Whipple supercharger on there. It's got the carbon fiber intake. It's got the air intake. It's got the Whipple supercharger. You can either get it comes black or the Ford blue powder coat. This is, I went with the Ford blue powder coat, carbon fiber, air intake. I kind of wish they had the uh, reservoir for the coolant 
over here and have this air intake here because with the scoops here, you could have had a lot more air coming in, which I feel is lacking the air, lacking some power. And we'll feel that later when we go for the test drive, because with this having 775 horse, the TRX having stock at 702, but I've changed the intake in that. So it's around 712. I believe the TRX is faster than this, but we'll, we'll go for the test drive later and uh, we'll go with that and I'll show you guys about that. So running the batteries, I haven't done much upgrades on this at all. Actually, I haven't done no upgrades except for the antenna and the tent. Reyes and I will go sit on the inside and we'll show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so on the inside, all the Shelby Super Snakes come with the red stitching and the Shelby logo on the front. Heated and air seats in the front and with the Shelby uh, badge here, my number is 214. This number truck is 214, which I do like very much. Uh, while the truck is in park, you can actually take your shifter and move it down, which is pretty cool. And it does have wireless charging here down below, which is, makes it accessible, very easy when the TRX is not very accessible. The screen sits horizontally, which I do like where the, and the TRX is vertical. I kind of don't like it. And also here, you can actually have different menus. And if you want to switch over, as you can just slide your finger over, you can go from map and then you can have your radio over there and you just go right back to normal how it was just by sliding the finger, which I, I like pretty cool. You can switch to your drive modes. Pretty, let me go switch over here. You can switch your drive modes here pretty simple. You can sit on normal, uh, you can do tow, you can switch, go to eco. So if you're on the freeway, I like running in sport mode. Sport mode is a uh, full drive. Or if you don't put on anything, if you just run on normal, you're gonna be in two wheel drive. If you punch it, your tires are just gonna sit there and spin for, for a long time. This truck has a lot of power. Carbon fiber everywhere on the inside. It's carbon fiber everything. You do have some uh, plug-in power here. You do have uh, more power here. Charging systems, everything. I do have uh, from my Apple Watch. Um, I do run this so I can just charge all kinds of other different things for iPhones and iPads and whatnot. There's 18 speakers in here in this vehicle. I did add the bullet point uh, for my uh, phone. It holds my phone, holds it real easy up here. I have one for the passenger, which I don't have passengers usually, but big, huge console in here. It's freaking deep. It goes way down there. It's real deep, which is pretty cool. For the front space, I mean, I'm pretty darn comfortable. So, you know, I'll leave. I'm in, right now I'm just in the accessory mode, which the truck's kind of on the seats in position. So I'll leave it here. I'm gonna jump in the back. I'm gonna show you how much space we have back there. And I'll see you in one sec. All right, so in the back seat, we do have some carbon fiber here. You can hold a couple cups here. It does have a centerpiece here. You can hold a couple cups. You got power down here for two plugs for AC and you have another 110 outlet to plug in and heated seats in the back. Um, the one thing I do like at the TRX is heated seats front and back, which is kind of cool. So I do like that sliding window in the back, which you can control from the front and you got the full panoramic view and I got some bird crap I need to get off up there. Uh, as you can see, I did leave the car in front view. You know, I'm 5'10". And, uh, and look at all the space I have here. I'm sitting comfortable and I got plenty of leg space. It's plenty comfortable. So this truck did not come with the uh, rubber lining of floor mats. I did go to weathertech.com to order some. They did come with the fabric ones, but they did say super snake on there and it did have the snake on there. And, uh, but I didn't want to ruin them. So I just kind of kept them off to the side. They're in the garage, I kept them there. And also I like the way the, uh, the fabric is on here. It kind of looks like an old school type of, I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Reyes? What, what do you, what's, what's that look like to you? Like an old school type of jeans or something like that from like the 80s or something. Like, like a header yeah. type of color. Yeah. It's nice. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's like something different. I've never seen something like that before until I got in this truck. And of course the speaker is the B&O. One of the top lines from, from Ford. Does sound pretty good with 18 speakers. I may add just one in this one. We did the interior on this one. Uh, we'll do the interior on that one, and then we'll do some road driving. All right, so now I got my TRX sitting here. I pulled the uh, Shelby off to the side, got the TRX in here. Personally, in my opinion, this is my favorite. That truck is definitely fun to drive, but when it comes down to it with the Hellcat and everything, and this, this is just a beast. So 
This is the 2022 Ram TRX. Because it's got the amber lights in the front, it's because it's so wide in vehicle code. I believe anything after a certain amount of inches on width, if it's wider than that, you have to have the amber lights. So that's why there's the amber lights on this. On the side, it's got the 6.2 liter supercharged. So it tells you that you ain't messing around. The first thing I did when I bought the vehicle, I kept the stopped tires. I swapped the wheels out and I got the uh, Method bronze rims. Uh, the only thing with these rims is I can't keep the balancing weights on there because they just barely clear the calipers. So every time I get these balanced, the weights fall off. That's the one thing that sucks. So what I'm gonna do is once these tires go down, I'm gonna have to swap out to a 20 inch rim so I can get some clearance because these are 19s and I might even just go to 37s. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. Originally, it did say Ram right here on most TRXs. It does say all the all TRXs, they all say Ram right here. I took that off and I found this, the, the TRX logo. Uh, in my opinion, it should have said TRX here. This is a TRX. It is made by Ram, but it should say TRX. So I put that on myself. The one thing I did is I added the amp research bar. I wasn't going to at first, but the seat was just high enough to where I was rubbing on it and I didn't want to jack up the leather too much from rubbing back and forth. So I just added it for that one particular reason only. Uh, I tinted the windows 5% in the front. I believe I went 25% in, in the, or no, 5% in the back. I think I went 25% in the front. Uh, if you live in the Bay Area, class to class tent in Antioch, that's, that's my boy. You go to him, he'll hook you up, tell him I sent you. He's the best. I did add this as well, the TRX here. It does have the T-Rex with the Raptor in his mouth. Of course, you know Ford makes the Raptor. This thing will smoke a Raptor anytime. Maybe not the newest one. That one might be close. It could be comparable. So I did like this. I added that. I also added in the back on the sliding mirror, it does have the flag with the TRX logo in the back. I did add that as well. I have the Corsair exhaust. Uh, Ray's gonna add the cold start for me so you know exactly what that sounds like. I freaking love that sound. Uh, it's four by four. It is Ram. I do like that part here. I kind of wish I could find a big logo of the TRX and put that there. Uh, they did put the TRX here. I probably will end up swapping the badging out so it's red, so it matches everything else like I did have on the doors. It does have the one step, pretty simple, right here. So you can get in the back of the truck without having to, uh, when you drop the tailgate, it's pretty cool. It's just one little button, which is, just drops down. It's pretty simple. And it's a super lightweight. It's aluminum, super lightweight. So it's just, you know, we'll get one finger. I can just push it right back up. It's super lightweight. I did also add from uh, WeatherTech, the no drill mud flaps. I only did that because these did stick out a tad bit and then mainly on the front during the rainy season, especially right here. The, the water was just flying all up through here. So for protection, even though the truck is coated and it is black, I did deal with mud flaps. I debated on it, uh, so I just did it. For the cons on the exterior, I, I don't have much. And it is, this scoop here is fake. I kind of wish that was not fake. They have one scoop here, to me it's fake and I kind of wish it wasn't, but it is. This, these scoops here is also fake. So um, these ones are fake, but in the Shelby, they actually have heat scoops that are real. You have uh, air going in, but you don't have really have much air going out. And in the Shelby, they have air going in and you can have the heat coming out, which I kind of wish these were real with heat going out. I kind of wish they did that in here. Um, I do like the fact that they, these scoops are real here. So they have air coming through here and they do go out here. I do like that. So it, it does, will help cool the system down of the brakes. So which you do need uh, on these trucks, if you are going super fast or off-road, I do like that a lot. And then uh, I do like the front end. They went with, all, you know, everything's all black. I kind of wished I can get the, black skid plate, which comes on a different style truck, which I could get, but I just don't want to. I'll pop the hood. I'll show you what I did underneath. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see the Hellcat engine as well. So I went with the uh, the AFE 
in air intake. And you can see the, also the TR, uh, the T-Rex with the Raptor logo here. That's one of the Easter eggs that they have. They do have the true airflow intake uh, system. This is the one thing I do like about the TRX. Probably one of the reasons why I get the true feel of the horsepower. When I'm flying down the road, I feel the power. This thing gets the air it needs. It's what's required. If you come over here to the side, you can actually see the Hellcat engine, the bright orange engine that sits down in there. That's the true Hellcat engine. It's, it's getting the full air that it deserves. I freaking love it. There's a lot of space in here. This is one thing I like about this truck. So what I'll do, I'm gonna hop inside. I'm gonna show you some of the features it has in there. It actually has a lot more features in there than it does of the Shelby. We'll hop inside. I'll show you what we got. Okay, so in this truck, um, the display screen, like I said, it does sit vertical. This one here, we got the Alcantara. We do have the badging. This badging is a little more in depth. You get your VIN number. It gives you the manufacturer number. It gives you a, a lot more info than the other truck. You get the Alcantara, which is pretty cool. The only thing I kind of don't like is it's a nice warm day. If you're sweating, you're gonna have to keep your arm off the side or put a towel down, which is, you know, it's okay, whatever. I don't mind. Push, both of them are both push start. You get a lot of controls here. Paddles, the other truck, you can both do off to the side with sport. You can do your shifting here or here. With the other truck, you just have to do here. Uh, this one has launch control. So if you were to race, you have launch control you can use. Uh, this truck is always four wheel drive or all wheel drive all the time. There's no way to get it in two wheel drive unless you have an aftermarket chip to do that. Where the Shelby comes in two wheel drive and you can just simply just rotate into four wheel drive, which I drive in sport mode, which is all wheel drive. So that's one downfall in the TRX, but when you drive it, you want the all-wheel drive because you'll just be roasting the tires. The screen, I like the screen. Uh, it's not all digital like it is in the Shelby, but to me, I don't care. The Shelby gets better gas mileage. This one gets about 12 to 14, where the Shelby will get about 13 to 17, and uh, which is pretty good. Um, it's got the panoramic roof, sunroof, all the controls are here. Back window does open as well. The, the cell phone charger here kind of sucks because when you put your phone down in here, I mean, it's tight and it and it sucks. So I kind of don't like the phone charging set, uh, the wireless one in here. So I just went and got the bullet point as well. And this one, I have the bullet point in every single car I have. I got one in my Ranger. I got one in the XY's Jeep. Uh, I got one in my TRX. I got one in the Shelby. I got one in every car. So if you've never gotten a bullet point before, get yourself one, they're awesome. Uh, this truck came with 19 speakers and I did add two more in the back. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Those extra speakers, cause uh, those custom box made just for this truck. This truck did come with the rubber mats and uh, I did like that, and, which was pretty cool. So I just kept them there. This is how I drive and just in this position here. I'm gonna hop in the back. I'm gonna show you how much space there is back there. Actually, I'm gonna turn the accessory mode on because I'm gonna show you the uh, two extra speakers I added on back there. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so in the exterior, uh, like I said before, previous in the video, these seats in the back are also air and cool, uh, air and heated seats. Um, I think we do have, yep, the centerpiece comes down. Uh, all kinds of nice uh, Alcantara, everything in the back. Very nice back seats. I do love them. Seats also recline, so if you're on a long drive, seats can pull forward, you can recline. It's not much, but it's the thought that counts. You got some power, you got some AC, uh, you got some plugs, USB-Cs and USB-As, you got everything, which I like. Um, and then down here, the custom box with two 10-inch kicker uh, square speakers. I added these in. So like I said, this truck came with 19 speakers and I added two more custom box with the TRX logo the exact same logo I have in the on the tailgate of the truck uh, This is the Harman Kardon uh, System in here for Dodge, which is their top of the line, but I absolutely love the system in this truck I absolutely love it. So uh, what we'll do next is uh, I think Reyes and I are gonna hit the road. Hopefully he doesn't get scared We're gonna do some zero to hundreds. I mean at zero to sixties and uh We'll see what he likes the most and then we'll uh, wrap it up. 
All right, guys, so what we're gonna do, I got this truck warmed up. It's been sitting here warming up for a few minutes. We're gonna, uh, Reyes and I are gonna go out. We're gonna cruise around real quick. We're gonna hit some speed limits that are not gonna be posted on YouTube. So uh, we're gonna go drive around. I'm gonna talk about what I like about driving this truck, and then we're gonna come back, warm up the TRX. We're gonna go cruise that one. And I'm gonna talk about what I like driving about that one. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about which one I like driving the most. All right, so the one thing I like, so I'm driving in sport mode now, which gives me four wheel drive. Uh, it has four wheel high, four wheel low, and four wheel A. I don't know what the heck four wheel A means. Maybe y'all can tell me what in comments down below what four wheel A means. I'm gonna let that car go for a few seconds, but uh, doesn't have launch control, but here we go. <laughs> I mean, that's 80 right there, and I'm already at 80 miles an hour. But I'll just slow down real quick. But you can hear the, I don't know if you guys can hear in the video, you can hear the Whipple supercharger in the Shelby. The thing's just screaming right along. I freaking love the sound of it. You will hear in the TRX supercharger, and that one's freaking a lot louder. But this thing does have the get up and, and go. But of course, we got grandma and grandpa doing their Sunday drive in front of us, doing 30 and a 35, which kind of sucks. But. Uh, the turning in, in this truck on the U-turn, even on a three-lane road, it's terrible because the rims on this truck are pretty big, so it does suck. Having 775 horse is kind of tough to lose to anything unless it's electric. Torque power will beat me every time, but not, not, not horsepower. We'll make a turn up here. We'll go out and do some quick, some quick little driving around. That's 60 and I really wasn't even punching it, but we'll come up to a red light. I'll put my, I'll turn the stop clock or my stopwatch on on the next red light. We'll see how fast it goes from zero to 60. See how fast it goes. Let's see how we do. We're just cruising around. Pretty smooth ride. What do you think, Reyes? It's good. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Even for the low profile vehicle, it is, uh, it does have the uh, Fox uh, suspension. I can just switch to, any of the seven uh, modes uh, just by a hit uh, of a button and it'll just automatically go straight to it. It is a uh, all electric uh, suspension, which is pretty cool. Got some get up and go. So it just gets up and goes real quick. Yeah. So, uh, you know, don't try this in your own vehicle. And, you know, I'm not a trained professional either. You know, I should, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but you can comment down below how stupid I am. It's okay. Are you ready? Uh, you know Go. Five on that one. I think on the other truck I only hit 70. I could tell right away. This one's a little bit smoother, man. The other one? This one. Oh yeah, this one's a lot smoother. Yeah. Well, the the tires on this one is there's more tire on this, mm. but the other one is low profile. Uh, it's a bigger tire. Well, this is a, that one's a 20. These are 35s. But you get a bigger tire, so it can absorb more. The other one's a low profile, so it can absorb more of a hit. Oh. Can't do it, dude. Nah, let's do it, bro. Oh, let's on. all run. Let's all run them. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Okay. All right, so at first we took off in the Shelby Super Snake. We enjoyed driving that. But the overall best truck to drive, the TRX. The TRX is the champ. The champ is here. You can't see me. I don't care what you say about it. I just love driving this thing. This thing can do every, it can go off road. It can make the U-turns. It's smooth. It's got everything you can think of. Doesn't have quite the much horsepower, but it's badass. So I love it. So if you like watching detailing videos, product reviews, whatever type of videos 
you know that I do here on this channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which truck did you like. Till you next time, see you again.